in our first story tonight. The government has had to settle U.S. $1.2 billion in debt within the energy sector, which were left by the People's Partnership Government. The revelation was made by Minister of Energy and Energy Industries, Stuart Young, while contributing to the budget debate in the lower house on Saturday. To just add to that, the one energy contract that they negotiated during their tenure was a contract that put the energy sector into a tailspin because one, there was already a shortage of gas. But they didn't stop there. What they did is they had a brown, uh, greenfield energy policy that they did in the still of night without ever telling the population. What that means, Madam Speaker, is all of the gas that is available, they will send it to this new plant, forgetting all of the contracts that NGC already have. Minister Young added that from 2017 to 2022, the National Gas Company has executed over 28 gas supply contracts, term sheets and amendments. Skepticism and the dog whistling and the attempts to mislead yesterday with the two big announcements that were made by BP a week ago. Because you see, good news is not good news for those on the other side, but it's good news for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. The proof of the pudding is in the eating, and this government, along with NGC, ensured that there is a future gas supply from BP that is coming, and we executed a gas supply contract two Fridays ago to the benefit of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. In response to the contribution of the Energy Minister, Opposition Chief Whip David Lee said the People's Partnership Government continues to be blamed for shortcomings in the energy sector. Every time the Minister of Energy speaks to hide the failures of his government, he blames the partnership between 2010 and 2015. The Minister of Energy likes to say they inherited an energy sector in crisis. They didn't inherit an energy crisis, a sector in crisis, but a stable sector on the path to success.